All right, welcome back to another episode of Beer, Bacon, and Blows. We have the full squad here with us this evening. Austin, welcome back. Glad to have you back from Texas. And as always, Alex, Chris, and Keith. Um, coming off a huge win for the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, Tom Brady and the Bucks. What's going to happen with them? But before we jump into that, uh, comment on the video. Like the video, subscribe to the page. It helps us a lot and helps us grow the family. So, what do y'all think Tom Brady does this offseason? Does he finally retire? Does he commit to retirement? Was, unlike his wife. I was going to make... <laughs> wow. wow. Why don't you punch the man right there? <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just going wow. to put that out there. I, just, I was, I was going to make... He's just happy that, that Dallas <laughs> as a person has more... Playoff wins than Tom Brady I was, as, as an individual. I was going there. I was going there. As of last night, Dallas Brady has 36 playoff wins. As an organization, Tom Brady has 35, 35 as an individual. I was going to make fun of him for the huge win, but then I remember that that was the first time Dallas had won a road playoff game since the year Adam was born. No, 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 no. 29 years. 29, 29 years. Yeah, not even worse. It was 92 when they won. <laughs> yeah, it was 92. It was 92 their last playoff game. Yeah, I was, I was playoff low road win. win. I was five. But yeah, I was yeah. not born yet. But they're yeah. America's team. Remember they are America's team. You can find this stuff everywhere. No, oh, it's only because the Steelers denied that nickname. We can put that in a different video. <laughs> it, is actually, it is actually documented. The Steelers said so they didn't want to be called that, so they called the Cowboys that. Okay. Just putting it out there. All right, so future for Brady and the Bucks. Hey, I'm going to this because I've been hearing this. I, you know, we've heard about, like, what Tom wants to do and where Tom wants to go and how he's done with the Bucks. Like, if you're the Bucks, do you really want Tom back next year? No, no I don't you think so. You like, want Jameis Winston back. I don't care what you say. <laughs> Mr. The man, the the man, man was electric. You had, 30, 30 watch, guy, baby. you had to watch every second of that game because you had no clue which <laughs> team was about to score a touchdown. Whether it was going one way or it was going the other way. Somebody was about to score a touchdown that drive. Hey, but he's at LASIK now, so he can actually see the yeah, people down there. I'm telling you, he thought Bruce Arians was black. He can see the defender now. For three and a half months, three and a half years. Um, I'm going to, yeah, Tampa Bay should not want him back. They should be like, hey, we're, we're not going to resign you. They also need to go out and give, they need to get other things. They need to get an actual run game going. They need to get an actual offensive line to protect whatever quarterback they get. But the thing about Tom Brady is I don't think he will retire no. strictly because his ego will be like, I can't let that be my last season. I agree. And I, I, I think I, that I he'll think come back right. and it will be worse and then he'll probably retire. I think he'll come back for an even shittier season. Where, did, where does he go? New England? Any, any team New that's looking for a quarterback. Did you say New England? New England? I mean, does he go back? No, no he won't go back to Bill Belichick. He'll go back. No. He'll, he'll go to somewhere like Vegas or the Jets. Or, does uh, Vegas trade Carr for Brady? Like, do sign. If I was Tampa Bay, I'd be all over that. Like, do yeah, honestly, trades? Honestly, I'm with that. Like, because you think about it from a Tampa standpoint, that's a win for you. You're going down. Yeah. You still got a guy that's probably got three good years left. You know, you're in a you're as a team in a position to to still win, but you know, Tom's really not the answer and your offensive line is horrific. So you gotta make changes on the other line. This I year. mean you realistically you are the the favorite to win that division probably here in the for the next three years, I would think. You don't think the Panthers can do it? No. no. Not with Anthony Richardson if they go track. I mean Atlanta's <laughs> on the up and cup No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Well, no, actually, the there, there was there was an article today that said that Carolina was going to try to go throw money at Sean Payton and Tom Brady. Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> so, so I, you know, I, I don't think Atlanta's there, and then the Saints are so hit or miss. Yeah. So I, I mean, I think realistically, you you are, should be the favorite to win that division here, year in year out. Offensively, yeah, but their defense was, which was the backward of the team the last two years, was garbage this year. Yeah. Their, their defense was garbage. Their offensive line was hurt all year. They were out, what, three starters? Yep. Plus one left? Yep. So, I mean, I think he comes back. I think he goes out west, on, personally. I think he goes to, like, the, the Raiders or, even hell, even potentially go up to Seattle. But why would you, yeah. go, why would you go to the Raiders? You, well, got it, it buzz, makes... you got two buzz saws in your freaking division. Brady never likes money. never Brady never likes being in a good division. So if he's gonna play somewhere, why not go on the same team he's on, win eight games, and make a playoff berth because you won the division? You don't consider Denver to be a buzzsaw? Denver's an absolute buzzsaw, just not for, for a their own. Yeah, 
don't know if they're going to expand their own team. I mean, the Chargers are keeping their head coach, so I don't think you really have to worry about the Chargers. Shit, that's that debacle? You don't have to worry about the playoffs, but you got to worry about them everywhere. Tampa's already gone out and fired Byron Leftwich, so he's gone. Um, the Chargers fired their offensive coordinator and, and quarterbacks coach. Yeah, yeah. they need to go fire the head coach. Yeah, exactly. like, after, like after losing to being up twenty-seven up with thirty seconds. If, to go if the first you're half. Brady and you really think he's staying, where, like, where do you go? All right, so if I where give you, you if I give you the option of Miami or the Raiders, if you were Tom Brady, where would you go? He couldn't. He won't go to Miami. They have to. Uh, they're gonna ride with. Two is brain scrambled. They're gonna ride with him. They've already announced it. Hey, yeah, I, I, I don't. I don't have a, they, two is their cornerback. People have said a lot of things before and going. But back I, 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 I don't. I don't think he goes them. back to the AFC. And you can't. Yeah, he can't go back to the division playing New England and then having to face Josh Allen twice. Absolutely, and yeah, having to play Buffalo. I don't think he'll. Brady's smart. He's gonna go to a team where he knows he can make the playoffs. And where does he go to do that? He either goes to a weak division, which right now. What might be the NFC West. It's the division he's in. Yeah. I mean, you say, oh, the NFC West, where you really, if, your own contention is uh, San Fran. What about well, I mean, you got the Rams that are going to have me uh, I think the Rams, the, the Rams, <clears throat> the Rams handcuffed themselves, and that was proven this year, where they had no draft capital, and they, they went for bust, you know, boom or bust last year, and they hit it, but they have no, they have no draft capital. They have no draft capital going forward either. If you're San Fran, Trade Brock Purdy right now. And get Tom Brady? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. That's no. Dumb. No. dumb as hell if they did that. You don't mortgage the future for... They got Trey Lance. A small upgrade. They got Trey Lance. They, they got, got Trey Lance and Brock Purdy. They got, yeah, they got to figure they out. They got both. Trey now, you trade Trey Lance for Brady, I'll give you that. Yeah. Or Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy's Jimmy, man. Jimmy's, I'm telling you, Jimmy's Jimmy going to be a backup somewhere. I, I get, no, he'll go to the Colts and start. Watch. Oh, I didn't think about the Colts. I'll, I'll, give, the Colts. I'll, I'll give you Jimmy and He'll go to the Colts. He's got no receivers. Yeah, that's yeah. right. He has no receivers. No, he no, he no receivers. He didn't have any in Tampa Bay. He, he, oh, yeah, oh, he had oh, like Chris yeah. Godwin and uh, Julio, Russell Gage, Julio, Julio Jones. Jones. How many Sundays did I hear y'all cuss about Mike Evans, Julio Jones, all of them? Yeah, Julio. Julio. Mike Evans was just old and washed up like Tom Brady. That was the AARP. Bowl that we watched every Sunday. <laughs> yeah. Julio, Julio, Social Julio. Security cards running up and down the damn field. I'll give you Godwin, but he was hurt half the year. Uh, I could Mike see Evans was still a, a, another thousand yard receiver for Tom, the ninth straight year. Yeah. Could have been, been 2000 if he didn't drop all those balls. <laughs> that's that's, uh, that's yeah. very true as well. <laughs> yeah. But he still hit a thousand yards. <laughs> the number one lane in the spot for Tom Brady right now is you either stay where you are and you win a weak division or you go to the Colts. The Colts have no competition outside of the Jags. Tennessee, yeah, is, but, the Col- but the Colts have no receivers. They, Tennessee, got they got Michael Pittman, and they have the fourth overall draft pick. Draft a receiver. Draft whichever receiver you want. Yeah, exactly. Good. Trade down, and then still draft whatever receiver you want. Yeah. So yeah, you go to you go there. Good defense, solid run game. Need to fit settle out a little bit. It looked shaky this year. You play a division where you play the Texans twice. You play the Jags, who are good, not great. And then you say Tennessee that without Tanning, it'll look like a backyard football team. A bad yeah. backyard football That's team. That's without A.J. Brown, too. A, a backyard football team with one really, really big guy. What if, what if I'll give you this? It's if, hard to tell. If you're the Minnesota Vikings. You running around with no, the no, just, no, no, I think, I think Minnesota sticks. Cousins did everything he needs to do. You need to figure out that defense. Yeah. Kirk Cousins is fine. Defense is Swiss cheese. How about, how about the Detroit Lions, who have the best-rated offensive line in the NFL? No, because golf – was golf actually looked actually halfway, good. yeah, halfway decent this year. I, now I don't think I would have owed him as fantasy wise, but oh, I did a couple of times. Mm-hmm. But to go get a guy that's won seven Super Bowls and knows how to maneuver the playoffs, I'm like, yeah, but you're he's old. Unless you can win next year, up. unless your team is wet ready to win literally next year, you cannot trade. You cannot take break. Okay. And no team. All right, you still have to play the Vikings and you still have to play Green Bay. Whether Rodgers comes back or not, Green Bay is still going to be good in that division. Yeah. So it's not a sure cakewalk. And the well, there's talks about Rodgers moving on. To yeah, going somewhere else. It, Hell, trade trade Rodgers for Brady. How is he going to walk away? He's got fifty million dollars. Yeah, say, yeah he's locked up. No, Where, he can walk. He can walk. Yeah, he can walk. How no, they can trade? There's him. A they lot. can trade him, but he can't just walk. He can walk without money. Yeah, he can retire. He can retire. Yeah, but then the people have to get traded the rights from from Green Bay. Yeah, and do all that fun stuff. Yeah, 
All right, so let's go back to Tampa then. We, we've explored all of Brady's things. If Brady, you're Tampa... Brady's 100% cool. retiring, and the only reason he came back this year was so Giselle didn't get the, her part of the $300 million deal. That is the only reason why Brady played this year. Okay. If, if you're Tampa, I'm not giving you any rookies here, but let's say there's a quarterback in the NFL currently that you want to go get to replace Tom Brady. Who is it? I go for one of the guys off the Pittsburgh staff. A Mitch Trubisky. Mitch or Mason. Okay. Yep. Interesting. I was not thinking that direction. I like Gino. I think Seattle's willing to move on. From I think Gino. Seattle does. Uh, Especially they're, if they're going to put themselves into a quarterback this year. I think Seattle wants wants to keep Gino. I, I think he's the diamond in the rough that they stumbled upon. They've got him for cheap. I think they want to keep Gino for at least another year. <clears throat> I think he could drop a lot. And you figure out a run game. I'm gonna say I think I mean I San mean, Fran has now. San Fran's already, easily got a quarterback they have to get rid of. They have you to get they at least so, yeah, maybe two they, yeah. they can try to yeah. trade off. You could uh you could go get Wesley Wilson out of Denver. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. maybe Denver might pay you to take <laughs> exactly. him. Exactly. Hey, we don't we don't need well, nothing. Here's the salary. Here's, don't care. here's Russell and another player. Y'all just keep what y'all got. Just I figure know. out how to get me Drew Lock back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do a three person uh, trade. A three-team trade here. Y'all got any more than Peyton Manning's? I mean, I, I like I like the Derek Carr thing. I'd be interested in the Ryan Tannehill, maybe. You know, I think I think I the Titans are ready to move on from Ryan. And I don't think Tannehill's the answer for anything. I don't, I don't think so either. But I think you rank it Garoppolo, Carr, everyone else. Marcus Mariota? No. No, I don't think. I don't think. I I think you go get Jameis. I'm telling you. What about Zach Wilson? <laughs> no. Baker? Uh, New, New I think if Zach Wilson Baker? was on, if Zach Wilson Baker was on a probably trade for him. From Zach Wilson. If Baker. Zach Wilson was on a better team, he would be better. Baker, I agree. Yeah, but the Jets Mike, were a good team this year. But Mike yeah. White looked good in the Jets. So right. how, the Jets, like, were, the Jets is, were a good hey, team this year. Mike White went to a pass in college. He knows how to throw the football, all right? Yeah, but how did Zach Wilson not look good when Mike White looked good in that offense? It's like, that's, true. that's where I get at. Baker. Mike, I mean, I think Baker. I mean, that's not a terrible... Baker finally had a decent team around him. Gardner Minshew. Yeah, Gardner I, Minshew I don't think big. Gardner Minshew is the backup quarterback for the Eagles next year. I think there's a spot somewhere for Gardner. I mean, yeah. Heineke. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Heineke did really good for Washington. Well, yeah, they're they're, 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 they're going to they 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 wins. <laughs> yeah, they'll do that too. But they said this week they're Sam Howell's their starting quarterback next year. So, I like that. I mean, I think Minshew showed that he can run an offense effectively. He's shown it multiple times. He's got a goal for the team. Granted, yeah. he, this, was, I like like, this was with the best top, well, top three defense and probably the best O-line in yeah. the NFL this year. But he showed that he can, he can ball out. He did well at the Jags. And what was it, midway or 14 games into the season, him and Trevor Lawrence were very similar on their stat lines or something like that. It was, mm-hmm. you know, they were like, they were comparing the two of like, why did the Jags want to get rid of Mitch when he was putting up the exact same numbers as Trevor Lawrence at this point in his career? Yeah. You know, they were comparing them side by side. So, I mean, Gardner's one that you, I think Phil would be willing to part with. Yeah, but are, are, again, we can talk about all this. Are any of those better than Brady at this moment? Are Not you taking any of those People I saw what Chris pulled up, and I know where he's going to go with it, and I wish I would have thought of it. It's an interesting point. What about Cooper Rush for Dallas? No. no. I don't think, da- <laughs> no. I don't think no. Dallas will let him go. Jerry won't. Jerry won't I, let I, him go. I, I can see that. I don't Jerry think Dallas will. I don't well, think Dallas will let him go. Well, the season, the beginning of the season, when, Dak, when everybody knew Dak was going to be out, there was an interview where the reporter asked Jerry about quarterback competition, and Jerry said, I welcome it. It's a great problem to have to figure out which quarterback I'm going to start. Yeah. And it's, that's going to be the exact same reason he's going to let all that talent ride the bench. I mean, him and Dak are literally the same age. Yeah. yeah. So I, I don't – I think Dak's our guy only because that's where our money's tied up. But I don't think they let Cooper Rush walk. Shit, tell them tied yeah, up. but it, it, money's not tied up. Who do you want? What do you mean? Plus they're, they're both getting paid the same amount of money. Who do you want to start next for the Dallas Cowboys? I still take Dak. I think he gives you a little bit more – Option. Okay. Dak and Jameis Winston are the same quarterback. I mean, I think Dak's accurate. Dak's, 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 Dak's a take take little that is what I said. Dak and Dak and Jameis Winston are the exact same quarterback. I would say I, Dak's a little more athletic. Jameis has a way bigger arm, though. They're the exact same quarterback. So, I don't right, know. how about Andy Dalton then? 
No. New Orleans probably don't want to rocket. Yeah, New Orleans probably don't want to like, two quarterbacks. Like all of those, I, I'm taking the game. Jim Reese come back. I'm taking the game manager Jimmy G himself over all of those. I think I would. Is where I'm leaning. And honestly, also to answer your question from earlier, I think I would take Jimmy G over Tom Brady because even if if we're getting, like we're going to take a shot at it next year, but if we don't, <laughs> all I'm going to say <laughs> is Bill Belichick's hardly wrong, and he predicted this shit. Yeah. What five fucking years ago? Yeah, I think it was eight years ago. This Jimmy G was going to be better than Tom Brady at a certain point. And yeah. He's willing to put his mouth on it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think he's willing to do I like it. put his mouth on it. I don't know what that means. They doing some crazy shit out in Texas, yeah. apparently. Up in New England. Wow. Um, I mean, Robert Kraft did, you know. What kind of inside on source it. you got there? The mouths on it. Uh, I mean, Robert right. Kraft been doing some weird stuff. I was about to say, Robert Kraft, you get caught down in Florida, you know, and you little rub and tug, so. <laughs> he was joining Robert Kraft. <laughs> oh wow! So his, all right, his inside source is Deshaun. <laughs> so, I mean, like, let's, let's, all right, let's let's think about it. Over over the past couple years, let's say the past three to four years, would you rather take that Tom Brady or that Jimmy Garoppolo? That Tom Brady. That Tom Brady over the last four, yeah. That yeah, Tom Brady because he, yeah. he won the big game, and that's yeah. But he won the big game with how much talent around him? One of the greatest coaches ever. No, but they played the same team. Like that's the thing is like that Tom Brady beat that team that then went on to beat Jimmy G's team. So it's like you can't kind of say they were they were very similar. Just one won the big game because they both played the Chiefs. I think over the past three years, I would take Jimmy G over Tom Brady. Just stuff. Tom Brady's always surrounded by ridiculous talent and fantastic coaching. Yeah, I mean, he didn't have it this year. I, I know I know why Bill wanted to do it years ago. Like it makes so much more sense to get rid of the guy that I'm not gonna have play have the, even the possibility of playing what? excellent football for ten years. What did Jimmy ever for leave New England? They traded. They, they Robert traded. Kraft traded him because Tom Brady wouldn't complain they, yeah, they about Bill oh, Belichick wanting to start him over. Yeah, I remember. Belichick that. was starting to hint they were gonna let Tom Brady walk. And the next year Brady left, right? Or was no, it no, two, no, it was two years. It was a couple two years. years. I think it was two years. I think it was only two more seasons he stayed in New England. Yeah. yeah. What if Jim and G goes back to New England? No, I I'm not against it. I mean, because I don't, they don't believe in Mac. Like, not a hundred percent. Well, no. I mean, hell, New England fans want Bailey Zappi more than they want freaking Mac Jones. Then why not give Bill his guy? Quack probably wouldn't agree to it. All right. Said, so I, so go go down the line. Keith retiring. Or I think he comes play. back and plays another year. Chris? I think he plays another year, just not in Tampa. Alex? Yeah, plays another year, just not in Tampa. Adam? Another year, not in Tampa. He retires, and we'll see him on Monday Night Football. <laughs> Man. As a, no, he, no, he's not with Fox. Oh, is he with Fox? He's with Fox. I can't remember where he was He at. can't be on Monday Night. He can be on uh, the primetime game on Sunday. That's about it. <laughs> he's yeah. going to be just like Romo, and I'm going to hate his ass. Hey, it'd be, it'd be interesting to see. Too bad Romo couldn't call defense like he can on the. <sighs> Honestly, <laughs> listening to Tom Brady talk during an interview and stuff like that, I think he's, he's going to be just like Joe Buck, where the networks are going to love him, but fans yeah, are going to absolutely hate him. That is going to be great. Yeah, that, that ruins that ruined Monday Night Football. Yeah, that's why the great. that's why the Manning cast is so popular now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So. All right, hit us in the comments. Let us know what you think Brady and the Bucks are going to do next season. And as always, we appreciate you. Like, comment, subscribe.